Hello everyone, uh, this is Paola Corti, I'm from Italy and uh, I work um, as an Open Education Community Manager with the Spark Europe and uh, I also work as a Project Manager in Politecnico di Milano here in Italy. So I will share with you a little bit about the two different scenarios today. One is related to the development of open education uh, within the network of uh, European Open Education Librarians. Uh, the, the acronym is INOEL and uh, it's uh, organized within uh, Spark Europe. And uh, what we are doing at the European level with the librarians, which are wonderful stakeholders in the open education scenario, is to try to do our best to enhance the implementation of the UNESCO OER recommendation. So we are trying to act on different fields, but mainly some specific actions uh, that are embedded in the UNESCO OER recommendation. So what we do with librarians is to try our best to enhance, uh, um, sorry, to raise awareness around uh, the UNESCO year recommendation in itself, but also more widely open education and uh, more practically <laughs> to support uh, uh, on a daily basis and with all the great services that librarians do within uh, uh, universities, um, let's say to enhance open education and um, activities and um, to work with different stakeholders, uh, first of all students, but also faculty members and other librarians uh, in order to raise awareness, first of all, about open education, but then also to implement different kind of activities that uh, can support it. And um, uh, librarians are also working, uh, at the, they're making their best efforts possible to work uh, um, in order to uh, implement better policies in their uh, specific scenarios at institutional level, but also as a network. Uh, they are trying their best to work with each other in order to, to do the same. And uh, at European level, we have different policies, um, mainly at national level, but more specifically, most of them are developed within single institutions. So we still need to do a lot of work in order to make them more consistent to each other and to enhance open education at, uh, uh, as, a, as a Europe, <laughs> I would say. And uh, librarians are also trying to contribute at their best to nurture the creation of sustainable models for OER and to facilitate international collaboration to enhance it. And, uh, uh, in particular, in this context, uh, we are developing, uh, thanks also to ULET funding, fundings, uh, to developing uh, new activities uh, that are wrapped around uh, the UNESCO OER recommendation. And um, our intended outcomes in this side are to make progress in open education in, within European institutions and also to enlarge this network in order for librarians to share more widely, at least at European level, their expertise, but also their struggles and to support each other, to um, reuse experiences and to adapt them to different scenarios in order to adopt them. <laughs> and uh, those wordings are actually the same wordings that you can use for uh, OERs at large. And um, they are also trying to engage the community uh, in itself with the different activities. And uh, we are developing some interesting activities exactly in this month. So it would be interesting to have uh, other academic librarians join us uh, in order to, to contribute to that. Um, so this is a very specific project we are trying to develop now and it's really engaging the whole European scenario in order to um, support librarians and through librarians to support all other stakeholders involved in uh, the academic work to develop open education. And uh, another work that I am doing right now is, uh, as I said, I am a 
project manager in Politecnico di Milano and I work within different projects at the European level but also at the institutional level. And uh, one of the um, projects that I think might be interesting to share here is a very specific one which uh, relates to MOOC development. We have uh, our own platform which is called the Polymy Open Knowledge. POC is the acronym of it. And uh, in our MOOC platform, we have uh, English and Italian um, MOOCs. And some of them, I would say the majority of them now, luckily, are, the, are released with an open license. And I'm very happy because we started working with open licenses uh, bottom up, but uh, we succeeded uh, on, with our daily basis job, I would say, uh, in advocating toward open. And uh, uh, you know what? Most of the faculty members who didn't even heard about open education before, well, then they agreed to release their uh, con MOOC contents with an open license. So I'm very happy about it and I'm also proud of the work that we are doing in my unit there, which is called METID, and it's the Learning Innovation Unit in Politecnico. And uh, just to give you an example, we have a MOOC that is devoted to uh, sustainable development goals within uh, higher education. And uh, this MOOC is our first CC BY MOOC. And uh, since it is interesting, the link between sustainable development goals and uh, higher education and open licenses also, uh, I'm very happy that we succeeded in, uh, you know, also making this MOOC uh, best practice in our case, because uh, actually many of the faculty we involved, not only from our university, but also experts from other universities, at first, well, they embraced open licenses, but they were not uh, open uh, as they were in the end. And uh, at the beginning, they chose uh, different licenses, but in the end, just by asking, we convinced them to move to CC BY. So the MOOC is completely CC BY now, and this is quite a success. So what I'm saying is that uh, at it doesn't matter which is your level of involvement in open education because everybody is needed and we can all uh, make our best efforts to work toward open education to be the default and to support the UNESCO OER recommendation implementation at local, national, um, European in our case or other continents level and at global le level at large. All our contributions are uh, interesting, all our level of activity is needed. So anyone is welcome and you can find yourself uh, uh, in the mirror while listening to all the people that are sharing with you within this uh, Earth Week. So uh, happy Earth Week to all of you and thank you for having me. Bye!